Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over my top five things you should never do to a library book. So... So library books belong to your library and if you damage them in any way or in any way or harm, you will have to pay for it and libraries and damaged library books do cost money because you're borrowing it from a certain from a library and then you have to return it and the books and the library pays for these books to come to their library. All right, and sometimes they have to have it transferred from another library and they have to pay for that transfer from another library. So these are things you should never do to a library book because um, if you damage a library book in any way or harm, you have to like pay the fee. So I'm going to get started and just to let you guys know, I have done one of these things, but I was able to get the book back so back and it was safe and sound so I'm gonna get started so number one in my list had to be dog ear the pages I'm sure you guys all know what dog ear means like um, you fold the corner to corner and I know some people like to do that when they're reading like chapter books so then they don't lose their place but with the library book you never want to like um, fold the corner because you if you do that you're gonna ruin it's going to ruin the page of the book because because the next time someone goes to use it and they try to straighten it out they might rip the corner off of the book so you never want to actually dog ear a page um, when you're reading a library book because if you do that you're going to damage the page of the book and it's not a very good thing to do do so anytime you're reading like a chapter book or you don't want to lose your place just grab like a Just grab like a bookmark from the front. I'm sure your library might have bookmarks for the front. Front. I remember my friend accidentally did that one time, almost tried to do that one time and they time and I said, "Are you sure you want to do that? You might be damaging the corners of the books." Books and she's like, "Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you shouldn't do that to a library book." So always just be mindful when you're reading a library book and if you're reading a book and you don't want to lose your place, just please make sure you get a bookmark mark instead of dog ear in the pages. Number two on my list had to be color in the books. So you never want to color in a library book because because that also can damage the library book. Library book and the next time someone goes to read it they probably won't be able to read it with the color in there and if you color in a library book it's really not okay to do that. That just because the next time someone goes to use it they probably won't really like how the book was treated. So if you're, um, so you should always make sure you should never color in a library book. You should never use a Sharpie in a library book. You should never use a highlighter in a library book. You never just use any pen in a library book. It's just not okay to color in a book, library book book just because that damages the book too. And then the next person goes to read it probably won't like what's in the book. Number um, three on my list would have to be rip pages out of a library book. So you don't want to rip pages out of a library book because the library pays for these books to come to their library. And if you rip the book, then you're going to have to pay for it. It's for it, um, for it. And library books are expensive to replace. Number four on my list would have to be drop the library book in the water. So you'd never want to, it's okay to read books books but anywhere but you have to also be careful where you're reading a book like whether you're reading a book at a pool whether you're reading the a book in the bathtub you just don't want to drop a library book in the water just because you can really damage it and if the page it with getting it wet it'll get all wrinkled and the pages will rip out and that's not good number five on my list would have to be lose a library book so you never want to lose a library book because you're gonna have to pay for it, and if you never return a library book, book, you're gonna have to figure out how to pay for the replacement, and it's expensive to replace library books. 
your books. Like I said, um, I have, I don't know if I haven't really actually lost a library book from a real library, but I have lost a couple of library books at school and I did get in trouble kind of for losing, um, one of my library books, um, that were from my, my the library at school. At school and I almost lost one, but I ended up finding it. Yet. Luckily I did or else my parents were probably going to have to pay for it or something. Okay, so those are my top five things you should never do to a library book. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please just shoot a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!